Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. The channel is Deb Chanel's 48th World. And we're just going to play with this video a little bit and just toss out ideas of what we think is going on. Now, we only speculating. We ain't saying none of this is true. But if it does come true, then you know who told it to you first. Okay? We're going to be talking about Mr. Scammer Man. Shopper! Shopper! Mr. Scammer Man. Uh, and any leaks and Greg. Not Greg, I'm sorry. Uh, Peter Thomas. Okay? And we're just going to go through these videos quick, fast, in a hurry. And you see Anthony Hamilton is doing the Wakanda thing. Okay? Maybe he's pledging allegiance to the uh, illuminated ones. You know? Because that is a hand gesture of those two. Those who pay attention, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, Peter Thomas. I've been knowing this man from the pictures I gathered. Probably longer, but I'm going to say the majority of these pictures came from 2017 up to this year. Okay, now if Peter Thomas Fantasia couldn't turn him on to a lot of clientele with the amount of people that they know, then what was Nene going to do for him? Okay, meaning Scammer Man Shaba. And those are his tailor friends that he deal with with, with, uh, with making him clothing. And you see, you mean you don't have an African brother or another brother that can do tailoring like you? You got to go to the white folks. See what kind of mess it is. And I could tell he's Peter Thomas' friend. Because quiet as his kill, a lot of them speak it out. Oh, Peter ain't nothing but a scammer either. And not a good businessman when it, when it counts to making revenue stay in the black. And things don't close down on him. But again... If Peter Thomas could not get him over the hump, get him well known to people, meeting her scammer man, Chaba, uh, that's why they got Nene. And then you got Jamal Bryant. He's a pastor here in Orlando. New Birth Missionary Church used to be at a long church, but you know he's no longer here. And that's we don't have to keep talking about it. But anyway, uh, does anybody know if scammer man uh, is Arab is, is he his native tongue is Arab because why is he dressed like that in that long blue gown of sorts and it may be a man person y'all but it still look kind of feminine to me and all those flowers he'd be wearing like I said kind of look feminine to me that's what I'm talking about is he from Dubai is he from UAE Arab Tell me, because I want to know. Because we should not be dressing in attire that is meant for another culture. And it's very religious. And that's just something they wear. So tell me, what is he? Because I thought he was Liberian. But hey, I may be wrong. But he definitely loves wearing those flowers. <coughs> those flowers type of jacket, pants, shorts, all of that. He's giving me a sugar tease. And y'all know what I mean when I say a sugar tease. Because you see them flip flaps he got on. I tell you, I ain't never seen no man. No manly man wear flip flaps. Okay. Or slide in slippers or shoes. <coughs> but this young man is doing the darn thing. And he love his sandals. Love them more than a woman love their sandals. Now I'm like, somebody told me that this was his wife. And there's his Arab outfit again. I mean, maybe he wearing it to get them to let him buy. I mean, him make their clothing. I'm not sure. And it's giving me another uh, <coughs> uh, sugar tease right there. What kind of vibe is it getting, giving you all? That particular picture. 
I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And then he's at the Marriott with a good friend, I'm guessing. And he likes to wear them flip-flops too, I see. Is that just something men wear? Uh, maybe I haven't dated the right men. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just saying. Alrighty. But, yeah. These are his little buddies, I guess. Uh, that he hang out with when he's over in France. And again, we see the flip-flops. They even got a little heel to them, like a woman's shoe. I'm just saying. And this is Nene's man. Again, that outfit. Where is he going with it? The only people that I know wear stuff like this are Sheik's. You know, over in Dubai. And then we got Morris Chestnut wearing some of uh, Scammer Man Shaba uh, clothing. And if all those people like Anthony Hampson, Morris, Morris Chestnut, Fabulous, Fantasia. Uh, who else I missed that I had a picture of? Can't really think at this time. But all of those are well-known people in the music industry. Why couldn't his career capote going to the stars until he met Nene? Nene even got him verified on, I'm pretty sure, on Instagram. Now, he definitely had all of the people to join him. But half of them were probably even just joining because Nene introduced him to those people or Peter got around and just, you know, tossed his name out uh, for making men's clothing. And he may have gotten it that way as well. Because, uh, yeah, I don't understand why um, he didn't go up there, up in the market of being around very influential people. I ain't just talking about the music industry because, you know, people like to dress how they want to dress, you know. But I guess when it's time for you to shine and really look good, you need to go over to Scammer Man Shaba. Okay, because he's been hanging with Peter for a very long time. And you know, Nene, you and other people have had conversations about what Peter really does. You were around when he took Cynthia to the bank and cleared her out almost. You were the one that called him a bitch. So would it be plausible that Simon, uh, not Simon, I'm sorry, um, a scammer man, Shaba, and uh, Peter just worked with the wife, and they schemed on you to get all of your address books or to meet people that you know in the industry the film industry the movie industry um the musicians that here that are here in atlanta that you know of uh that you definitely have shaken hands or been to parties where all of y'all hollywood people when you're in atlanta schmooze he needs those connections he needs that that's more than a hundred thousand to him to get say even a hundred people to come over to his shop and partake in all his tailored goods that's more than a hundred thousand because i know his uh, outfits have to cost you know like that thing right there may cost three thousand dollars depending on the um material he's using the raw material so i'm like yeah nene he has definitely capitalized on being with you even though we have never seen him give you a warm embrace kisses all around your forehead on your face on your head whatever never saw a really believable touch or kiss or caress that he's given you to make me think y'all are in a relationship okay maybe he was holding back because he knew his wife was watching And how him and Nene came to be friends. And she got sold a bill of goods that was worth shit. Okay. She started seeing. She started paying attention. Or she may not be social media friendly. Where she uses the, the devices. So maybe she found out about it from her friends. From her family members. Meaning Scammer Man's wife. Okay. And they were probably feeling a lot in her head that, no, he's doing a lot more than what he's telling you he's doing. 
and he could have been just telling her he's making contacts. Nene is very pivotal uh, part of him making the good contacts so he can keep the businesses going and they have, can have a legacy for their family. Now, this is the lies he is telling his wife, allegedly. Because my thing about this, I'm not going to be married to no man that don't want me no more. And he's giving me uh, caresses and servicing me with sexual pleasures and all that every now and then. I'm not going to be doing that. You know, I want somebody 24-7. They at my beck and call. I'm at their beck and call. And we go through life like that. We not finna be in the sharing business because you say you taking care of business and our businesses we have so we can leave a legacy for our son. But you're being out here traveling to Paris, France, when you know that's my spot. Then you're going to Las Vegas to look at Neo, get married, or reestablish his marriage, reconfirming a uh, commitment ceremony, whatever you want to call it. And then you took your little ass on over to uh africa now what is that all about and i'm pretty sure he was lying to her because like i said by choice what they gave us was strictly a platonic type looking relationship even though nini wanted to play up to the cameras to make it a little bit more but everybody could see straight through that that whole farce of a so-called relationship now, how it got twisted and how it got turned up. Maybe they was getting together in them sheets. Okay? And mama down there wasn't feeling it. She's like, you can fool me once, you can fool me twice, but you ain't getting it the third time. Okay? So, she's been making ways, meaning uh, scammer man's wife. And she's coming out and she's showing up and proving. And she said, okay, since you won't tell me the truth, I am going to get the woman that you're loving on. I am going to sue her. Did you know anything about that? Well you should have been checking on that. And she recently just uh, went down to North Carolina in her state. And filed a petition. And then he got served. Now it has been some comparison and some contrasting going on. Between... Uh, Fantasia Barino at the time that she was messing with someone uh, who was separated uh, from his estranged wife for whatever reason and they started up a whirlwind relationship. Huh. Okay. He might have been trying to use Fantasia for a come up of some type. Okay. Maybe not money but maybe he wanted to get in her circle and see who she messes with and what he can get out of it you know what I'm saying? it's always the angle people play you got to watch out for that especially if you're living in that hollywood life scene people just want to be around you so they can get to the celebrity that they've been loving on and wanting to meet and all this kind of stuff they could be using you to step to that next level but anyway going back to what i was saying about um nini going around here letting people people give access she's giving access to people uh for this man and um what is she really getting out of it okay everything has to be behind closed doors getting the freaky deaky on and because to tell you the truth Lyle's is short as simply as way he's carrying himself he looks <coughs> kind of like he's bisexual now that's just my opinion that's why i'm just going with the optics of it it may not even be true it's just what i feel what i see okay and jamal bryant actually was uh said to be that too bi bisexual okay but you ain't heard that from me all of it allegedly but Honestly, I really don't believe this is something Nene should be in. Because it's too much of too many what ifs. You know, type of scenario. Because if he didn't want his wife anymore. And he's been separated from her more than a couple of years. Then he's holding on to her because he don't want her to sue him for half. Which she's entitled to if she's never worked. If she's been at home raising her son. 
because of that custom or maybe he just want her to do that how she's going to have a, make a living how she's going to um be able to survive if he didn't want to be married to her again and then he's gonna have to come off that bill as well but i think it's a money grab i really do and a position where Nene can capote his career into getting in the hands of more lucrative businessmen in the industry that are willing to pay the price that he's offering his uh, suits for. Now, will she still have the same notoriety if she loses this case and she comes up almost destitute and broke? I don't think she would be in that circle anymore because it's like she don't have the money and the staying power to be a part of that circle. So that's going to be a big change for her if it happens to come out that particular way. And nine times out of ten, Mr. Shaba Scammer won't be there either. But he'll still have all the connections that he made through knowing Nene and, and being around her people. See what I'm saying? Because I ain't nowhere in the hell a man is going to stay where he don't want to be. Unless it's some other stuff that's keeping him there. And the other stuff really is he don't want to split the money with her. He don't want to have to split everything down 50-50. He's a greedy man. And he studies people. And he goes, and I believe he goes and look for widow type women because i forgot that i read it somewhere but someone told me that um he usually go and and paint her in peter's bar one and sits in the corner by himself and just try to network or you know on his tablet or whatever but he spends he spends a lot of time by himself i'm like that's a choice that's a choice because he don't have to be by himself he got a full-fledged wife at home but I guess she cannot garner the type of reputation he's trying to hold. Which, he's a butthole. He's an asshole. Especially if he's around here cheating on his wife. And the message that he said and put on Instagram to reference to what he had said verbally. He's a coward. Because if you mean anything and you say anything, it's good. It's gold. Okay? It's clear as rain. I don't want you. I am filing for divorce. And we will co-parent. That is all. You know. You don't just sit and just be separated from a person. Because you don't want to go through the hassle of finding a lawyer. Filing these fees. Paying these fees. This, that, and the third. Just to get out your marriage. That's piss poor laziness. If that's all it's about. And why would you want a man like that, Nene? Why would you want a man like that? But I guess we don't talk a little bit too much on this issue. I've given you several A-lister type performers in the music industry that knew of um, Mr. Shopper Man. Okay. Even gave you a list of actors that actually partake of his uh, goods and services. Okay, especially Mr. Peter. We, who knew Peter was wearing his clothing when he was looking so sharp up there? Hell, I thought he went to Nordstrom's or some men's shop. But he actually was uh, letting Mr. Scammer Man suit him up. Okay, so I can't take nothing away from Scammer Man Shaba because the goods that he produced for men and women are very nice looking. Very rare type of artistry he got going on over there the way he mixes colors and they blend well together with the finished product so i give him an a on styling people but i give him an f and if i can go lower than an f i would give him lower than an f when it comes to relationships with the opposite sex as well as marriage commitment issues and if he does her like that, Nene, what's keeping him from climbing a little higher than your status and dropping you just the way he dropped his wife? Mm -hmm. No, you'll be wanting to call him everything but the child of God. Uh-huh. 
You can give me some nuggets. That's it. Some fries. Alright. Bye. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, I have a big concern. Because I may not, uh, like certain things these celebrities out here doing. Because I do feel they have an obligation to always conduct themselves in a reasonable manner of independence. But yet, be honorable when you're out there. Not just showing people you know how to dance, you know how to twerk, you know how to caress somebody almost like you're having sex. Without, you know, dry humping is what they call it. When you're on the dance floor. I mean, leave that stuff off your social media page. Be business oriented every time somebody comes to your uh, website or your social media platform. They don't want to see you twerking all over the place and feeling all over a man and drinking too much and laughing too loud you know just abrasive type stuff because i tell you that man right there he ain't got nobody on his instagram account except for his wife i think two of his wives if i'm not mistaken and his son but he don't have any nowhere not even a new nethia lounge i mean nothing everything's been like scrap if he did have her on there she's not on there now and I know she used to have a few pictures of him on her Instagram account. But I don't think there's anything on there unless it's just one picture of him. And that's it. So I'm like, don't wipe away the evidence. Because the evidence is already there. Whenever, however, she got the footage that she needed and the ammunition to ask any judge... To award her uh, emotional stress monies. She has a case. And then you're still going around him, Nene. Acting like this shit ain't phased and you're not one way. But you're going to damn sure get yourself ulcer. Because you don't look happy, baby. You don't look happy. You don't, you don't look like you're in a good relationship that you're fully satisfied with. Do you understand what I'm saying, Nene? So I think you need to straighten up and fly right. Because if you really have to pay off this $100,000 claim or more. Because of this woman. Saying you being too close to her husband. Hell I sent him back to her. And say we can't we can't handle this anymore. And get her to drop that lawsuit. You go on back to your wife. Because we can't do this. It's costing me much more to be with you. Than you to be with me. And you should be taking your own advice, Nene. Close your legs to marry men. But that's all I got for this video, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.